Hello, Douglas County. I'm Rick Martin, Director of Communications and Community Relations for Douglas County and the Public Information Officer for the Fire Department. Welcome to today's edition of Douglas County's COVID-19 update with Dr. Janet Meemark, District Director of Cobb and Douglas Public Health. Welcome, Dr. Meemark. Good morning, Rick. Thanks for having me. <laughs> uh, my pleasure. Today's Monday, April 29th, 2021, and news we're receiving is not that good. What are the current COVID-19 numbers in Douglas County? And can you talk to us about the climbing positivity rate in Douglas County? What does this all mean? Yeah, so um, I wanted to make sure that you and I got to talk and um, share information um, this week with um, Douglas County folks because um, we are seeing so we're almost at 15,000 cases for Douglas County. Um, the, that case rate that we follow per 100,000 is at 239. It is kind of leveled out there. And so that is still almost two and a half times what's considered high transmission. Um, I know a lot of us were talking about the spring break and Easter fallout. And so we did have a very, very slight bump that um, we saw during that time, but it was by no means a surge. That's really good news, right? But, you know, we're still hovering at this, this rate that still is high and don't seem to be driving that down. The other thing that's caught us attention over the last week or so is the positivity rate. What we've been seeing in the, in the state and in other counties is that the positivity rate continues to come down. And so, for example, in Cobb County, it's under 5% and hovering close to 4%. What we saw last night was that Douglas County's positivity rate was up to 8.2%. That is quite high. And so um, it's, it's concerning because that means 8.2% of the PCR tests that are being done are coming back positive. So the people that are getting tests more and more are coming back positive. And that's quite concerning. Um, when it hits that 10% rate, that's where, you know, we really have a problem on our hands. And so even when we look at our hospitalizations, hospitalizations have come down, but they haven't really come down to levels that we're quite comfortable with. They're still higher as well for the Douglas County Hospital. So we want to make sure that everybody understood that I know that restrictions are being lifted and, and it seems like, you know, everything is fine, but we got a little bit of an issue that's brewing underneath us. And I want to make sure everybody knew that that is not okay. We are still fighting a pandemic here. Gotcha. Gotcha. With the vaccination rate dropping, not only in Douglas County, but across the country, are you concerned that we might see a rise in COVID cases? Yeah, so let's talk a little bit about that. So, um, you know, we had our first kind of real enthusiasm for the, the vaccinations at first. And now we're kind of reaching that level where everybody who wanted the vaccine at first have gotten the vaccine. And now we're on the, we're at the on the fence folks, right? And mm -hmm. so you know, in um, in uh, Georgia, we have 26% um, of folks that, oh no, sorry, we have 24% uh, of folks that are fully vaccinated. And in Cobb County, that's 25% of folks that are fully vaccinated. But in Douglas, we only have 16% that are fully vaccinated. You combine that with the lower vaccination rate and on top of what I was telling you before, and then we add one more factor, which is the variance. I know I always talk about the variance. That number jumped this week. We are at 64% of only the B117 variant that is coming back positive. And that was from just a few weeks ago. We were only at 21%. We are at 64% at this point. So, and that does not include all the other variants. We have the New York variant, the California variant, Brazilian, South African. We have all of those variants. And so the variants are gaining speed very quickly beneath us. So we have a lower vaccination rate. We have a high higher uh, percent positivity that's climbing and a high transmission rate. And so N variants, that is a combination for bad outcomes if we don't do what we need to do. What we need so to the, do, yeah, I'm sorry. No, no, no. So the key thing re really what you're saying is people need to get vaccinated. We need to get vaccinated, yes. The other thing is we know that only six, what, 16 percent of your fellow citizens are fully vaccinated, which means if I go out and about, if I go to large crowds, only 16 percent are fully vaccinated. Just remember that, you know, the lower end numbers for herd immunity are in the 70s. But, you know, higher end numbers, they say we need to be 90 plus percent, 16 percent. 
we must continue to wear a mask, socially distance until we can get that number up. People got to get vaccinated and you got to keep with the prevention until we are we are at better numbers. OK, thank you. Thank you. Speaking of <clears throat> excuse me, speaking of vaccinations, the vaccination site at Arbor Place began accepting walk ups last week. I understand how many vaccinations are being given each day at that location. And can so, Douglas County residents still make an appointment if they don't yeah, walk up? Great question. Thank you. So uh, we're, we're seeing um, less than 400 people a day at that Arbor Place and location. They have a capacity of over 800 a day. All right. So we need to get more folks. Please, you can walk up. Um, it's Monday through Friday between 9 and 2.30. You can come and, and walk up. You can make appointments, too. It makes it faster if you have an appointment. But if you don't, please just walk up. And on Saturdays, 9 to 11.30, you can come. If you, um, We also are doing an outreach event at Highland Park Senior Center. That one, contact us through our Contact Us page, and we can get you scheduled for that May 22nd. So that one's a little bit of a different location that you can go to. But yes, please, please come and get vaccinated. We're offering the Pfizer vaccine there. And then it will either be Johnson & Johnson or Moderna at the Highland Park location. Gotcha. As you can tell, you know, um, pardon the uh, printer, you know, happening right now. It's lots going on. But uh, welcome to the virtual world. What percentage of Douglas County residents are vaccinated right now? So, so far, we have 26% that have gotten the first dose and then 16% that are fully vaccinated, which means two weeks after your first, your second dose or Johnson Johnson. That's what I wanted to, to reiterate. How does Douglas compare with the other counties in the state? Well, so I, you know, I only follow, follow one other closely. So compared to our um, adjacent neighbor to Cobb County, they have 37% that have gotten the first dose and 25% fully vaccinated. But hey, the state of Georgia is at 34% that have gotten the first dose and 20% fully vaccinated. So I know Douglas County, I know that we can um, catch up with all of that. So I, whatever we got to do to do that, we will. Okay, so a majority of the state in Georgia is at 34 percent, so they are getting vaccinated, and citizens and residents in Douglas County, we're just trying to encourage them to do the same, right? Absolutely. We, yes, we're trying to make it as easy as we can to get you vaccinated. Gotcha. There are new CDC guidelines for masking after vaccination. What can you tell us about this? Yeah, so there's a, there's a, if you go to the CDC, there's a whole bunch of new guidelines that you can have um, for masking. So now when you're going out um, outside, you don't have to mask when you're with other folks that are um, also vaccinated and, um, or your smaller, you know, family pod, you don't have to vet, um, wear your mask. You still have to go if you're in large crowds. And you know why? It's because we only got 16% that are fully vaccinated, right? So we still got to wear a mask. But there's a lot of other things in there too. So now people that are vaccinated, they can they can travel and you don't have to quarantine or get those extra tests a lot of times. That's a huge burden. People that aren't vaccinated now have to come back and quarantine for you know 10 days to two weeks. And so you're released from that. If you are in close contact with somebody that has COVID and you're vaccinated, you don't have to quarantine. So you get a lot of your liberties back and we anticipate we'll get more and more as we go along. But there's a bunch of other things in there you can see that um, that you can do while you're vaccinated. So Dr. Meemark, um, what I'm hearing is from you, and I'm also hearing a bit of consistency. From you, I'm hearing it's important for our citizens in Douglas County to get vaccinated. The governor, Governor Kemp himself, has encouraged citizens in Georgia to get vaccinated. And as of last night, the president of the United States, President Biden himself, is encouraging people to get vaccinated. There's a common theme here, is that correct? Yes, get vaccinated. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, is there anything else you would like to say to the residents of Douglas County, Dr. Meemark? 
And just there's um, two things. So one is um, if you um, cannot get to a vaccination site, we do have folks that are like that, that are considered homebound um, and your family can't bring you out, um, please contact us. You can go through our contact us um, link on our webpage, cobbandouglaspublichealth.org. We have a team that will go out and vaccinate you if you cannot be brought out of your home, okay? So that's great. And it is a, a Johnson & Johnson. So just so everybody knows that. Um, and then the other thing is, um, remember, we're at 16%. We, we want to get that number up of those vaccinated, but you, um, you know, we still have a lot of variants that are climbing and we have a high percent positivity rate right now. So please, if you're not going to get vaccinated right away or you're not in that safe window um, for vaccination, which is fully vaccinated two weeks after your second dose, continue to wear your mask and to distance and be careful when you go out there. It's it's not it's not the safest world out there right now. Right. So make sure please continue that prevention until you get vaccinated. Dr. B. Mark, I can't thank you enough for joining us again for this COVID-19 update. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me.